Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Don't know what to think about this one. They've, uh, uh, from what I've read on this one, they've mixed a bunch of different stuff together to come up with this. And it's a collaboration beer, too, between Three Floyds and Firestone Walker, two of the real tasty beer brewers, as far as I'm concerned. So, don't know what we're going to end up with on this one here, guys. This one was sent to me by Nick. Uh, Nick, thanks for sending it to me. Uh, we're going to find out. I hope I like it. Uh, I, I like just about everything that uh, Three Floyds does, and I like just about everything that uh, Firestone Walker does. But from what I've read on this one, they really uh, throw some stuff together to pr produce this beer. So let me, uh, let me go further and explain myself on this one, guys. Let me uh, read the commercial description. This is a uh, barley wine. It is a ten and a half percenter. Uh... Commercial description here says Old Leghorn was initially brewed by Floyd and Brendelson during last year's Firestone Walker Invitational Beer Fest. In a shout out to Firestone Walker and Nick Floyd's mutual English heritage, this blonde barley wine was brewed with traditional English ale malting varieties, Golden Promise and Optic Base Malts, with no specialty malt added. The beer was then racked into a combination of retired bourbon barrels and new American oak wine barrels for aging at Firestone Walker Brewing. In Fearless Three Floyd's flat fashion, another batch of dry hopped Old Leghorn was recently brewed for blending into the aged beer. To add a fresh hoppy layer to the more intense spirits barreled and oaky character of the initial batch. The result is a Staggeringly hoppy blonde barley wine that will first be unveiled at the 2014 Firestone Walker Invitational Beer Fest in Paso Robles on Saturday, May 31st. Additionally, 22 ounce bottles will be available to purchase six bottle limit per customer at Firestone Walker's Brewery Store on Sunday, June 1st, starting at 10 a.m. With a very limited market release later in the month, Old Leghorn is meant to be consumed fresh in its youth and vigilantly cold stored in the meantime. So they blended a lot of different stuff together to come up with this concoction here. So I don't know. We'll see what, what this brings. Uh, over to the food pairings. Uh, typical barley wine food pairings. The cheeses are sharp blue cheddar and your pungent cheeses, gorgonzola, Limburger, And uh, uh, it says general dessert and digestive along with that. Glass bar, pint, becker, non tumbled snifter. I'm going to use my... Uh, uh, solvent glass or my parish tulip as I call it and it says here it can be sell for long periods on the proper conditions but they're telling you they don't want you to another reason uh, normally the barley wines I do sell are them but Nick sent this one to me and uh, I've had it for a month or two uh, and I decided well I'm gonna go ahead and get that out after I read what was going on here they thought a bunch of American hops in there so this from what I'm reading is supposed to be a hoppy barley wine so We'll find out, so let me see if I can get, they've got this little wine type deal on here. Well, let's get the cap off this bad boy. This is a bomber, it's a 22 ouncer. Big hiss. 10%. Share half of this with the other half. She's had a long day today. Ten hours more or plus. Ten hours plus. Working the girl to death. Alright guys. Over into the light.
it looks it looks a lot like an IPA. It really is. It's a golden. It's uh, I can see the bulb through it, but it's not perfectly clear. It's got a little bit of a chill haze on it, or uh, I don't want to say semi cloudy because I can see the bulb through it. But it looks a lot like an IPA. It's got almost an orangey peachy color to it. Well, let's get a nose on this one. And you see there is no head. It's not even covering the top of the beer now. So, get a nose on this one. See what we got. I am getting a little bit of the oakiness. Uh, a little bit of the alcohol. 10%. And I'm not getting a huge, I'm getting a little bit of spicy herbal pops in it. Got a sweet smell to it though. Maybe a hint of some honey or some caramel or toffee in there. Well, I don't have the IBUs on this one guys. So I don't think it has it listed here. It does not on either site. So, uh, let's see how bitter this one is. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Nick. Thank you, sir. That is a wild concoction. It is. Getting a little bit of the woody, oaky charness in from the barrels there. Maybe a hint of some uh, vanilla. Definitely the alcohol is there. You can definitely tell this is slightly on the boozy side. It's got a unique taste to it. It really does. With all that blending with the hoppy, hoppy version of it and the barrel aged version of it. Uh, three different kinds of... Uh, Three different kinds of barrel in here. The beer was racked in a combination of bourbon barrels and new American oak wine barrels and then dry hopped for blending with the aged beer and with a fresh batch of it. So, <laughs> quite a conglomeration of uh, three different kinds of beers put together there. Very unique, very different, not bad, very tasty, but it's right out of the fridge at 40 degrees, let's let it warm up a hair, and we'll come back and do the final chug, see what we end up with on this one, guys. I'm on the fence right now, not sure. Alright guys, I'm back, got a little bit left, uh, been sipping on it probably about 45 minutes now, very tasty, the other half loved it, she really likes these bigger beers like this, uh, nice and sweet, uh, she likes those uh, big barley wines like this. Uh, <laughs> puts her in the hammer lane pretty quick. She catches a buzz pretty quick on uh, a couple of these, uh, a couple glasses of these big beers like this, and she's got a good buzz. Of course, a couple glasses of these big beers, I got a decent buzz myself. So, very nice beer, guys. It's uh, very sweet, uh, very different with all the, the blendings of the different uh, stuff they did there. And I'm getting the vanilla and the a little, just a hint of some bourbon, very flowery, citrusy, a little grapefruity, caramel. I mean, a lot of stuff going on in this beer. I mean, it's a, it's a melt of a melting a melting pot of uh, a bunch of different flavors going on in here. It's pretty decent. I, I, I like it now that it's warmed up a little bit better than I did when it was cold. But uh, very nice beer. Very very nice beer. Very very unique. Very different beer. A nice change up from your standard barley wine. So definitely a, a lot lighter than a typical barley wine uh, with that golden color. So let's do the final chug. Nice and sweet with toffee, caramel, some oak. Uh, vanilla, a little, bit, a little bit of mango, some fruitiness in there, some some flower floweriness in there. A lot of stuff going on with this beer. Got a bottled on date. This was done, this was put in a bottle uh, May the thirtieth, two 
of 2014 so very nice very very nice so uh, I enjoyed this and so Nick thanks for sending this one it was uh, very tasty very very tasty uh, I do think it's an A beer guys uh, I'm gonna give it uh, I'm gonna give it the eight which is the a minus on this one uh, uh, I enjoyed it. It was pretty tasty. It was pretty decent. Not my typical cup of tea, but I like drinking these styles uh, occasionally. Uh, my, I got several more different kind of barley wines in there, so uh, uh, nice change up uh, to finish off the evening with something like this instead of a stout or a porter or something like that. But uh, I enjoyed it. It was pretty tasty. I do think it's an A beer, guys. And if I'd had it at uh, at the end of. Uh, uh, May or, or, or June, uh, it might have been a little tastier than what it is now. So I'm not sure. It, it, to me, it sounded pretty well, but I don't know. I didn't. I didn't have it fresh. So I don't know. But it was still pretty enjoyable. All these barley wines, will, especially a 10 percenter, will will keep. I don't know what will fade over time on on, on a beer like this. And, and they're saying they want you to drink it fresh or or something uh, or, or as close to fresh as you can. So uh, I enjoyed it. It was, it was tasty. So. Let's go over to Beer Advocate. Uh, Beer Advocate says 89, a very good range. If I was putting a numeric rating on this, it would probably be about a 91. Uh, I think it's an A category. So, And over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says overall 97 and 90 in the style. So a little bit bigger numbers on that uh, from them. So, And uh, a lot of these guys have reviewed it uh, back last year uh, when it was a little fresher than what it is now. But it doesn't have a whole lot of ratings. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, about ten different radio uh, people commenting on this beer. And the last one was uh, the other day. Uh, so, uh, pretty tasty beer. I enjoyed it. So, if you've had this one, this was uh, Firestone Walker and Three Floyds collaboration called Old Leghorn Barley Wine. And it's got a lot of stuff going on in this one, guys. So, if you've had it, let me know what you think. and. Come on back tomorrow. We're going to see what's in the fridge. See you then.